Welcome back to another Fortnite Tips and Tricks video. And this one's how to win every game solos, except this one is builds mode. Now, I primarily play zero builds, so this video is also why, even if you are a zero builds player, you should actually play some builds mode too, as well. So, without further ado, let's just get into the video. Now, the footage of this video is from Chapter 5, Season 1, as well. I just already had this pre edited and had a screenshot which I could use to make the thumbnail and the game's being updated right now. So I figured why not let's just do something a little bit different but kind of the same. So the reason why I started actually enjoying playing builds more last season was because I just kept getting tired of getting headshot sniped in zero builds or getting sniped at all the time. That I actually started enjoying playing builds and actually learned how to build a little bit better and started actually liking playing this mode. Now, when you're playing build, it's a completely different game mode, but it's the exact same game at the same time. It's kind of hard to explain. Now, in this gameplay, this is actually two back-to-back -back games, which I won. But now, this first game here, I really should not have won this one at all. I got extremely lucky because I was playing very poorly. Look, I don't even build a single thing until the very end. I don't use cover effectively. I'm not paying attention to my surroundings, like I just shot that guy there, meanwhile he was clearly just shooting at somebody. They obviously ran away to heal or something. So I'm lucky that I came out on top here at this point. But anyways, when you're playing builds, there's a lot of different skill sets that you will end up having to learn. Which will also translate over into improving your zero build gameplay. Such as more close range fighting. And also, just learning how to track opponents through builds will help you be able to track opponents better when you're playing zero builds if they're inside a building and you already know the layout of that building. As you can tell here, I was definitely in the mindset that I was still playing zero builds as I wasn't building anything and was just getting fried by the freaking bots out of the open because I didn't have an overshield. Very, very stupid, but that's what happens when you play both modes and switch in between the two. And regardless of what mode you play, Mantling just loves to grief me in Fortnite if you uh, can't tell. Man, did I miss some of these weapons though? And those vending machines being everywhere. That was actually pretty nice and handy. We should get used to that pretty quickly, didn't we? So anyways, I ended up taking out a bounty on one of the last players here. And I believe I did see him running off in the distance. Here, yeah, you can see him running right there behind that tree. He built something else. But I wasn't paying attention. It comes back down to awareness again. And I do miss that freaking grapple blade too. So I ended up shooting over here. And it was actually just my bot I had hired. Still fighting the AI and the guards here. Instead of actually going for the enemy player. As he was actually the very last person. So that was also pretty damn double me. Oh man, bump swapping. That's one thing also. You learn very quickly if you're playing build mode opposed to zero builds. So if you suck with the pump in zero builds, definitely start playing some builds because you will have to pick up that skill very quickly as it is a staple of this game mode. And when playing builds, it's also going to really help increase your reaction time to dealing with certain types of situations. Like right here, I think I get sniped. Oh, this guy hits me. I immediately build up. Finally, I remembered, hey, I can build stuff, so I start healing immediately, and I can't remember exactly what happens next time. Reload my guys, I see he's taking high ground by a fizz, so I only just jumped right up into his box. Just took 50 50 with him, and swapped over to the pub, and hit him right in the face. That's so satisfying. That was my 58th crowd win that season, and I did not deserve that win whatsoever with all the bad decisions I made during that gameplay. But now when you're playing builds, it's a more methodical game as you're going to have to take the game a little bit more slower and think about what you're doing. As every single hit that you take comes off your health or your shield. You can't just peek from cover and take a shot. You don't have any heals because that's going to be coming off your permanent health bar. Now in this game, I think I was landing late. I see gunshots everywhere. There was no weapons up on top of that hill, which wasn't really good for me. And this is just... Why you should never give up and never surrender. I see those footsteps here. I see those shock waves. I grab them. And I say, you know what? I'm just out. I gotta go. All I have is EMPs. I can't kill anybody right now. I don't have any bats. And I immediately retreated to go and find some type of weapon to defend myself with. Also, I forgot to mention too, as I went back on this gameplay, someone 
was getting the uh, lockbox on the train because that's where I was actually originally going to go. So now I used to always land here to get the medic specialist NBC. So I do run up to hire him so that he can heal me and I noticed that there was footprints near me over here as well. So I'm trying to go and look to figure out where this player might be and I don't end up finding them so I just assume they dipped. So then I just go and run around and start looting up a little bit. And then someone tries to shoot at me and now boom, what do I do? I immediately react. It's a reaction time. And I build level 4 protection. Now I see you guys shooting me over there. I use this wall for cover and just keep the right shoulder peak. So the camera on your body in four days on the right side of your body. Meaning that if you are up near cover and you peek from the right side, you can shoot at enemies with revealing less of your body when you're getting into a fight with them, giving you a high advantage as you're going to be harder to hit. That skill set really also passes on over into zero builds as well. It's so, so very even more important there. And now, here's another reason why I started liking playing builds is, as I said, it is a different game mode. So, as you can see here, this guy had built something inside of this house, which is that something you're not really ever going to see when playing zero builds. So, it makes me have to think up my feet to try to figure out what I'm going to do. But as a player, I see he built some stairs inside, I shoot them. I'm still trying to figure out where he is. I know he did build a wall there. So this is the kind of thing you just don't have to deal with in zero builds, but you do have to react to it more in builds, and that's going to make you a better player overall, and you're going to have to think fast and think on your feet. So then finally, the guy ended up taking the fight with my bot, not me, and I jumped on top of the house there, and just quickly turned up behind him and fried him. Great build to keep track of an opponent at a location where they're building onto it in build mode. Imagine how much easier of a time you're going to have if you're in the same in zero builds. So here again, this guy sh starts shooting at me over here by this tree. What do I do? I immediately react as my health is important. I would have an overshield. I built some cover, get a little bit of high ground, take a right corner peak, and it's GG's back to the lobby for him. Now, here is how you can tell if somebody is a bot. This guy's sitting there just pickaxing the wall. I'm pretty sure it's a bot. Chili Dog 47, yes, definitely a bot. So I just ran right up to him point blank with the Frenzy Auto Shotgun and the word of the easy elimination to get. All of a sudden a third party shows up and I immediately start getting shot at. So what do I do? My zero build instincts come into play and I immediately just jump down to avoid the bullets and then jump right back up, ran jump towards him and just blasted him with the Frenzy Auto Shotgun. So as you can see, skill sets from zero builds also do cross over into build mode as well. Next, I heard some shooting off in the distance, so I was looking to see if I can get an eye on anything, which I could not. So I decided to go to the resource caches, which have now been taken out of the game. And I started the cache and immediately got to cover, as I was looking to hopefully get a better shotgun out of it. And, also, I marked it, so I would make sure I'd be able to find it after. And then, I just simply waited until it opened. I was also using it as bait. Because when you start a thing like this, it'll show up on the map, and other players will be able to see it too. Just like when you hack the lockbox on the train. But nobody ended up running to go to that resource cache, so I was pretty sure that nobody was close enough to me. So I went and got some free weapon upgrades for myself. Now you can also reverse fading is what I'm going to call it. So you can use an item like that if you want to draw enemies' attention towards it while you try to move somewhere else and not be contested by anyone. So after some time, I ended up coming up to some more shooting that was happening, so I went and immediately third party this fight. A lot of people hate third party in Fortnite, but I was going to say, but it's part of the game. You're going to have a much easier time winning fights if you can show up either while someone is fighting, or just after they finish a fight and they're weak, you don't have enough time to reload their weapons and heal. So now at this point, I'm up to eight eliminations in this game, and I'm playing way better than I was last game and I'm actually building, using cover, and just making way smarter decisions. I immediately heal up after this fight and make sure that all of my weapons are reloaded. Then I noticed that the key card was on the ground for free. I also noticed that there's some shooting going off in the distance and then I see okay now it is a 1v1. That brings you to another tip. In case you do not know and you hear audio cues that usually means that there is only a certain number of players left. That's how I knew there was only two players left when I heard that cue. And now, even though it was a 1v1, 
I still went to get the forecast tower card because you always want to try to get any type of advantage that you can over your enemy. This also might draw the enemy's attention and bring him more towards me and I might be able to get the jump on him. Again, using certain things as bait. Now, I notice on my mini map that there's a very small circle coming towards me, which means that this guy has all four of the medallions, so I know exactly where he is at all times on the map. Sometimes having all four medallions is not actually an advantage, especially not last season, as it really pinpointed your location on the map for all of your enemies to see. So at this point, I'm just sneaking around trying to look to see where this guy is. I have a pretty good idea where he is, as I can see it on the map. I notice him popping out of where the Titan Hand appeared last season, and this is why I really started enjoying build mode last season. As soon as I see the sniper glint, I quickly react and throw up some builds and block the sniper bullet staying in the game. And remember how I said that playing builds will improve your reflexes? Well, there you have it, folks. Afterwards, I immediately chocolate onto the guy and jumped on him, and because I knew he was going to be sniping and he wanted that kind of fight, and won the game. But that'll be it for this video. I'm Big Papa Smurf 187. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you on the next one. Have fun gaming.